Here we go. Get this little guy here. Super cool. What's that little buddy? Just sitting here. You can feel right here the edge of this. Closer to the uh, top part of the water is warm because that sun, that sun comes across there and just hits right along these rocks. And so these guys will come and sit right here. Hey, what's up guys? Just got back from doing a bunch of skating. I'm kind of sore, kind of beat up. Um, been doing a lot of skateboarding lately. Been doing a lot of uh, kind of catching up around the house. And we actually just had a bunch of storms move through here. Um, kind of a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of flooding. So I'm kind of going around cleaning up after a few things. But we also have some major cold weather moving in uh, on the <laughs> we had some We have some cold weather coming in over the next three days. Doesn't look good. And so I have uh, three turtles I need to bring inside just because I don't really want to leave them outside and have to worry about them. They should be good, but just to be safe, I would rather just grab them and bring them inside if I have the ability to. So let's go do that. So right here, this is my little tub that they're going to go in. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to grab some water from this aquascape stream right here because you don't want to take a turtle that's already in a cold environment and then just throw them into warm water. You're going to shock them. So I'm going to grab some of this clean water from here. Got a little bit of hair algae with it. That's not a big deal. Don't really care. And this way they're going to have some cool water to go into. This going to be much more like what they're coming out of. And these mud turtles are in this uh, tub setup. And it has a lot of plants. It's actually got a sand bottom. So uh, now it just comes down to feeling around inside this thing. And you're just feeling for mud turtles. Ooh, that hurts the hand. This is like my least favorite thing in the winter. Oh, there's one. That's a mud turtle there. There we go. You can see these guys close up like a box turtle. They got like the hinges on there. So we're just gonna set this one in there. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, here's one right here. Nice. Yep. This one's a little bigger. This is a male. You can see these guys are really neat looking. Really cool turtles, really easy to take care of, honestly. Um, I wanna make them like kind of a bigger setup. I kind of got these um, a year or two ago. Uh, they were just kind of given to me and everybody told me just keep them in a tub, keep them in like a planted tub with some, basically with some mud and that they'll do fine. So that's what I've done. Here's one here. There we go. All right, so here we go. So that is all the Mexican mud turtles. My hand, that was easier than I thought, but man, it was colder than I thought. So um, now the idea is we're gonna bring these guys inside. I'm gonna put them in the garage. That's kind of where I bring in uh, all my reptiles that I bring in. Sometimes you just gotta bring them in. Um, I don't do it often, and most of the stuff I keep is native, so there's not a lot of things where I have to do this run back in and out. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do it with the Mexican mud turtles. All right, so we'll take a quick look at these guys in the sun. They are just the neatest, cutest little turtles. Mud turtles are really, really awesome. And you know, these are full grown. Um, some of the Mexican mud turtles do get quite a bit bigger than this. Uh, and it's possible these guys may get bigger. Uh, they're just the neatest little turtles. And very basic care. You can see they have really good weight on them, honestly. She's a little chubster. And so you can see some of the red on her face. And these were given to me as red cheeks, but I think they're possibly white-lipped. I, I don't, I'm not really good with these. I don't really know. Still learning the Mexican mud turtles, and it can be, you know, down to just the shape of some of the scutes on the plastron, is, is how some people tell. So they're a little bit harder to decipher than some of our native mud turtles. You can see some of the males have like a really cool shape, and they have like three keels down the shell. You can see this guy's closing up really good for you. Like I said, they're like a box turtle almost. Let's take a look at this last one. Yeah, this guy's the biggest, also the shyest. A really pretty shell. Really awesome. Mexican mud turtles. So yeah, that's uh, what I've been up to today. That's for the most part pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Please share these videos, help the channel grow. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.